I loved paradise <laughs> because of the quality time you got with people. And I knew I spent more time with Tanner in two days than I did with Chris Souls those seven weeks. I've asked a lot of bachelor couples this, but not necessarily paradise couples. Can you tell me a little bit about that pressure that you feel post show to like make it work because you're like a bachelor couple now? And like when that goes away, if it goes away, not, you know, does that make any sense? Yeah. So we were still in the phase, or like, I guess social media has changed everything. So when we got engaged, we had to hide it. You know, like until like the show aired and then we could come out as a couple to the public. But there is kind of this pressure to stay together. But I always tell people it's kind of like a re-falling in love with the person because you fall in love with the qual <laughs> their qualities and who they are and, and like this bubble. And then you get into the real world and like Tanner and I hadn't met each other's families. So we had to meet each other's family, see what that dynamic was like, whether, like what it was like, cause he went back to work, like whether we could work together in that kind of a situation. And it's, you kind of have this re-falling in love with a person in real time and real life. So I kind of describe it as that, but there's definitely a pressure, at least back then, I don't know, cause a lot of the couples break up now, <laughs> but True. it was like you were supposed to, you were supposed to be this perfect couple. As the OG, Bachelor in Paradise couple. I mean, that's a crown you guys get to wear, which I'm sure is exciting, but maybe maybe a little bit of pressure. I don't know. But there's, I could say there's a little bit, but I do feel like people have a little bit more understanding and compassion, you know, that we are just humans. <laughs> yeah. What, um, what do you tell the people go, I know the show, just like The Bachelor's changed, Bachelor in Paradise has changed, but what would you tell, you know, the people going into filming it now? What would your advice be? Oh, it's changed so much. <laughs> yeah, it has. Because we were, any, like, we were discouraged to meet each other or talk to each other before we went on the show because they wanted the on-screen time to be like the first time anybody like met and they could see that, but nowadays everyone hangs out with each other <laughs> and talks and, and so it's so different, but I loved Paradise because of the quality time you got with people. And I knew I spent more time with Tanner in two days than I did with Chris Souls so those seven weeks, you know? So I would just say like, enjoy it and have like the good conversations because you get that time. How soon did you know, if you can even remember looking back that you and Tanner were gonna, you and Tanner were gonna leave this show together? So halfway through the show, he actually was supposed to go back to work. He told his work that I'm just gonna go for a little bit and then I'll be back. And he had to make a call and be like, I'm gonna stay, sorry, like fire me if you fire me, I suppose he was able to keep his job. But um, I kind of knew at that point, like, okay, well, he's really committed. So I'm gonna just, you know, give him the respect and do the same and just really like, fully open up and be vulnerable and let's try to make this work. And so that's kind of like, the, it was halfway through, that was like the turning point, I feel like, where I was like, okay, this is serious, you know?